Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this summer halo eye look. Um, it is a look featuring, again, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I know a lot of my looks have um, this palette, but I just love this palette from the, from the browns, the neutrals, the little red tones, and I just love it. So... And I did mention at the end of my video, well, that this is my first time doing a halo eye. And I think I did pretty good at it, but I know where I can improve um, parts and little, um, other areas. But for right now, I really did like how this first halo eye that did turn out. But yeah, if you wanted to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. So the primer that I take always, I'll be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So for today's look, I'll be using the Anastasia Modern, Modern Renaissance Palette. And to set the primer, I won't be using tempera, but I'm going to go in with the shade Golden Ochre. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid to set the primer. So going in with my crease, in my crease, I can't even talk. I'll be using the shade Burnt Orange. So next, going in the shade with Real Gar, I'll be just doing the same as I did with Burnt Orange, just, just applying that in my crease and bring that in my inner corner. So now I'll take in Venetian Red. I'm just going to apply that both in the inner and outer corners of my eye. So I'm going to also add either red ochre or love letter. I'm going to use love letter and apply that on top of Venetian Red and just blend that all out. So onto the lid, I will be taking the shade Primavera. And like I said, I'm just going to apply that all in the center of the lid. So while the eyes are drying, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the face. So I won't be using my Too Faced primer today. I want to try something new. So today I will be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I will be trying that today. So I got the little travel size. What about the? Well, I guess you would say the travel size. I didn't get the full size bottle, so I want to try it out before. I buy the bigger bottle, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just spray that all over my face. For foundation, I'll be using the Matte and Poreless Fit Me, which is no surprise. But because I got a little bit of a tan now, I'll be mixing in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. So I'm just going to mix those two colors together.
For concealer today, I'll be using my favorite. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Shade Custard. Again, not anything new. For setting powder, I'll be using the L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Loose Powder and I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes and apply that to the rest of my face to set it. For bronzer today, I will be using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette using this lighter shade right here. For blush today, I will be using something new as well. I will be, well, new for me, I should say. It's the Milani Big Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I've been trying to find this forever, but could never find it at the Walmarts, Targets I went to. They never had it. So finally, I found it at Target. But yeah, I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. Highlight today, I will be using the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter. And this is what it looks like. I showed it before, but in case you guys never seen it, this is what it looks like. So I'm just now putting uh, lashes on the bottom. It's the Maybe Maybelline Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, and I'm just going to finish up on that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeliner, possibly, on the lash line, just so like the glue cannot be seen through. For lip gloss today, I will be choosing. Uh, I have NYX Crambule. I have NYX Abu Dhabi, which is like a darker brown. And I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Stripped. I'm probably going to go for like the darker brown, like the NYX Abu Dhabi. I think I'm just saying that wrong. Or the NYX uh, strip lip gloss. But I think I'm going to go with NYX, not NYX, Anastasia. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys liked this and also enjoyed it. Um, it's going to be like a summer halo eye tutorial. But I really hope you guys enjoy it. And this is actually my first time doing a halo eye myself. So I think I did pretty good. I don't know if I may get some comments saying no. But I personally think in my opinion that I did a good job for a halo eye. For the first time, uh, I'm going to um, start doing them more to improve them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Bye, you guys.